Hello, I've just got a quick question. What makes chewing gum chewy? I've no idea. So do you think chewing gum is made of a type of rubber or something? I wouldn't have thought so, no. It turns out the gum world is surprisingly secretive. We contacted two of the biggest manufacturers, Wrigley's and Cadbury's, but neither Hello. were very enthusiastic about a visit. Hi, I'm Kate. My name is Mira. Welcome. But fortunately, Brilliant. Mira Brilliant. said yes. You won't believe how long it's taken me to find my way into a chewing gum factory. Years? Months. Hey. Ah, hi. I'm Dan from Peppersmith. Dan, nice to meet you. great. Kate. This company's ingredients are all natural, derived from plants and trees. What are you making today? Spearmint, and then we're making some lemon and peppermint as well. First, the intriguing gum base is mixed with all the other raw materials, including sweeteners and flavourings. So once you've put all of the ingredients in here, how long does it take to mix it all up? About an hour or a little bit longer. It's as if you're an <laughs> Oompa Loompa. Have you seen the film? I don't know. <laughs> this factory can make over 200,000 pieces of chewing gum a day. But what's gum maker Dan using if it's all natural? So this is your gum base? Yeah. We source it from the Central American rainforest. And do you know what chick clay is? Yeah. What is chick clay? So chick clay is the sap from a sap tree. What? This gum has been used for thousands of years. The tree is tapped and the gum filtered, then cooked. So I can take a bit off here. Yep. Well. How does it taste? It's all about texture, really. There's not much taste there. Mm -hmm. It tastes like chewing gum when you've yeah. had it in your mouth for, you know, half an hour and there's no flavour exactly. left. Yeah. But natural chewing gums constitute only a fraction of the market. So what's in the regular gum base? And Kate's come to Germany. We're on our way to the largest chemical plant in the world. This plant, owned by Bass, spans 10 square kilometres. Here they make things like paint, pesticides, detergent, mattress foam, and the key ingredient in the gum most of us chew. Welcome here, my name is Thomas Wettling. Hello, Thomas. Lovely to meet you. You're welcome. So what part of the chewing gum base do they make? OK, so most of the chewing gums, of the quality chewing gums, contain polyisobutylene. And if you had a chewing gum without polyisobutylene, yes, what it's, would it be like? It, it, you, it would not be so tasty because polyisobutylene is responsible for the, for, uh, let me say, a slow flavour release, which means you have a longer joy of your chewing gum. But, and then what? Keeps, it keeps the chew as well? And keeps it keeps chew? everything together, yes. It makes the, the chew really smoothy and tasty. Here are some applications of, all our, of our polyisobutylene. It's used for sealant, for insulating glass. Yeah, to, 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 to protect the insulating glass, right? Oh. Everywhere, everywhere. And also in tires, not in each tire, but um, mainly in racing tires uh, to improve the grip, especially when it's raining. So this is the outside part of the plant. And here, over the pipe racks, are coming the raw materials and everything you need. And the raw material is a liquefied gas. It's similar to what you have in your fire lighter, in your cigarette lighter. Really? And it's under pressure, and then you put in a catalyst, and then the reaction takes place. What is your catalyst? That is my secret here. <laughs> right, so can we see what comes out the other end of that? Yes, of course. Let's go over there to the filling station. This way? Yes. So the gum base actually starts life as a gas, which is transformed using a secret ingredient into this. It. Please do not touch it here, but we can take a sample over there and then you can have a, you can put it in your hands. 150 degrees, yeah. I'm really sticky. Yeah. That's, oh, yeah. that's like your fingers being stuck together by a scorching super glue, isn't it? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> okay, we don't want to do that. So how hot is this stuff now? It's, it's cooling pretty fast, so let's... Oh, you can make that is sticky. Whatever you like with it. That is sticky stuff. Can I chew this now? You, you could, but uh, within BSF we have the strict rule not to put our products in our mouth here, in this stage of production. 